Today, we're going to go over adjusting the lead screws on the TAG CNC mill. Uh, we have three of them here, so I could show you how we're going to get started. The first and very important thing is to have the bearing preload uh, adjusted just right. And uh, this one is too tight. You can see it just it rotates, but it stops almost immediately. This one is too loose. It just spins and spins and spins, and it's got some back and forth play in it. Now this one is just right. It's got some spin and it gradually slows down. It's got a real nice feel and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to take this one that's a little bit too loose and it's got some play in it and we'll show you how this is done. You could take any pair of pliers so you don't have to have special tools and you could take a uh, half inch wrench you put it on here and you just tighten it up a little bit a little more that's pretty good there. Let's get it a hair too tight. That's a hair too tight right there. So let's back it off just a little bit. Then we could put our fingers in the back and give it a little tap. Pretty good. That's pretty nice. It's, it still could be a little bit looser if we're going to get it perfect. Just a hair. Give it a little tap. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's how we get the preload adjustment on these double bearings in here. This is very important. Now we're going to move over to the machine. Now here we are. The table is in a vise that we use for putting these together. You can have it mounted to your board or you could put it in a vise at your home. I've already taken out the retaining screws for the bearing block. We're going to pull it off the whole assembly. We'll turn it upside down. We'll set it right here so you could see the nut and the screw assembly. And the first thing we want to do is here's a 1 16th Allen. We're going to put this in here and we're going to make sure that's tight. That's down good and tight. Then we've got a nice feel here. We're going to take a 332nd. We're going to tighten it up so it won't move. And we're going to back off until it goes. Same thing here. We're going to tighten it down so it doesn't move and we're going to back it off until it goes. That's got a pretty good feel right there. Then we put it back on. You may have to take your dead blow hammer, give it just a couple of little taps and that seats everything back in right there. Now we're going to put back in our retaining screws and we're going to loosen them up just a little bit so that this floats back there a little bit and we're going to wind this back. Now I notice there's a little lump in here just a tiny little lump right there so what we do is we take this dead blow we give it a couple of taps there we go that straightens it right out we made this little handle you could put an electric drill on that nut and we'll tighten this up And how much play do we have in here? Very good. We've got maybe a half a thousandth, if that. That means that the bearing block has been adjusted correctly. And here's how you could tell. Now here's a little better view of how we're testing for that end play. Uh, you put your thumb right here. Here's the bearing block. Here's the dial assembly. If you have your thumb right on the two of them and you pull this back and forth, you'll be able to feel, even the smallest amount, you'll be able to feel this go back and forth. So if you feel any play in there whatsoever, you can grab this with a pair of pliers and tighten this up just a touch and keep doing this until you don't feel any. Then you know you've got just the perfect, perfect feel for the machine. And you could do this to all three axes.